Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to my very, very red 475 pound Copart Audi TT. And well, today, you've probably seen the title, it wouldn't take a brain surgeon to work out what we're going to be doing to it. We are going to be getting it clean. It's absolutely filthy. It looks like a shed, or in fact, you'd probably want to use it as one. It's covered in dirt, grime, moss. The headlights need a polish. There's still all the markings from the auction house, and that's just the outside. The inside's, well, the same story, really. Absolutely foul. And so today, the purpose and the aim is to get that all sorted. Since the last video you saw where I revealed this car, I've been looking through the service history and it is in fact extensive, which is all the more reason to clean it up and make it look its best again. But it's sort of got a curious history. It was owned by a lady from New, and then for the last 12 years or so, it was owned by a doctor. And then all of a sudden, sort of July 2022, last year, the history stopped and it seemed to, well, also stop and, and not really move. So I do wonder, perhaps there was a, death somewhere and this car was then just inherited and sold off to an auction or to a, a part exchange. I'm not too sure, but essentially underneath all of this dirt should be a pretty tidy Audi TT because like I say, and we can go into details in another video, there's a lot of history on this car. For example, it's had two cam belts done to it in its 139,000 mile life. So anyway, I'm very excited to get it cleaned. I've been waiting a few days actually to film this video. So I've been driving it around gingerly with all of it looking like this. So today to finally get it looking spotless is going to be extremely satisfying. If you're new here and you like what you see, please do subscribe, especially if you're one of my 75% of regular viewers that have not done so already. It really means a lot. Anyway, shall we get the car out, get it all foamed up and get started? Okay, so that's snow foam applied. I actually just bought a new uh, snow foam lance for this. It's an auto glim one. Really happy with that because whenever I've had snow foam at home before, it's just been really watery, but this is the proper stuff. Look at that. <laughs> so anyway, that's on. We'll leave that to settle for 10 minutes or so. Hopefully that will loosen up some of that moss and that really bedded in dirt that's been accruing over the last years. It should be quite helpful on the wheels as well. Then I think what I'll do in a minute is I'll jet wash it, try and get some of that stuff that's in the nooks and crannies, just force it out with the pressure washer. And then I guess we'll probably do some scrubbing. But yeah, very happy with this snow foam stuff. That's fantastic. And while we do just wait a couple more minutes for this snow foam to seep right in, let me introduce you today's very appropriate video sponsor. You're gonna like this one, check it out. Let me say thank you to manscaped.com for sponsoring today's video. Now, as is the purpose of today's video, it's important to keep your car clean and looking its best. And I don't think it's any different when it comes to your own personal appearance. Manscaped are the men's global lifestyle brand that's taking the grooming industry by storm. They're already trusted by over 8 million men for their liquid formulations, their trimmers and their premium boxers. They've sent me their Performance Package 4.0, AKA the Ultimate Men's Grooming and Hygiene Bundle. It's packaged super nicely and comes with all of this. This though is the Lawnmower 4.0 and without going into too much detail, this is the perfect tool for keeping your more sensitive areas in trim. It also has an LED spotlight for when you need to see those trickier areas. It's waterproof too and so you can get to work in the shower and avoid making lots of mess. And for going the extra mile, here we have the Weed Whacker 2.0 for your nose and your ears. It's got a super powerful 7,000 RPM motor, which is more revs than my Audi TT, and an impressive steel blade system. Also included in the Performance Package 4.0 kit are these, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. And Manscaped even throw in some extra goodies too with these anti-chafing boxes and the shed travel bag, which is really, really nice. 
So go right now to manscaped.com to receive 20% off and free international shipping when you use the promo code that's on screen in the description and in the pinned comment down below. And with that, thank you so much to Manscaped. Now that I'm all clean and tidy, let's get back to this, the Audi TT, and get it looking the same. Okay, so we've been around the car, we've snow foamed it and jet washed it to reveal, as expected from me anyway, very much a story of two halves. Let me grab the camera and I'll show you what I mean. So the good points then, well, number one, in general, the paintwork is nice. If you look quite closely, and bearing in mind we've not actually washed the car properly yet, there's not really any scratches or nothing too significant. Things like that moss that were really embedded into this spoiler here and basically every single little crease of the bodywork, well, that's come off really easily with the jet washer, which is great news. Also, if you look towards inside here on the boot, this paintwork is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, just a jet washer's just improved that so much. The same could be said under here as well. As we looked at in the first video, it's very clean in the engine bay and I've just given it a very quick rinse and wipe. But again, all of this stuff in here, just a jet wash has made it so much tidier and neater. And also if you look at this side of the bonnet, you can see I've given the left side a wipe. That's what the right side was like. So there's nothing that can't be improved here with a really good wash. Bad points then, well, headlights as we expected they're going to need some further attention and I've got a machine polisher with me today so that we can give them that. There are some general paint issues. Now this wing mirror on the passenger side, as you can see, the paint has completely gone up until around this point. Now, interestingly enough, in the history file, I noticed about 600 pounds of work for some paint. Some of that was to the roof and the other was to this wing mirror, which as you can see, is fantastic because that was painted only a few years ago but there are some difficult spots like here on the door handle on the door there that's where it's just been bashed or rested against other cars when opening it we've got some obvious damage to the bumper there there's some more bad paint or non-existent paint below the rear number plate there's some creases and sort of splinters to the paintwork here on this rear left arch and despite what i said there are some pretty bad scratches on this rear left hand wing worst of all though and reminder i've not actually cleaned these yet the wheels are in a desperate need of a refurb all of these center caps or this whole part here not just the center cap but this whole area obviously the paint or whatever this is has peeled away and that is the case for all of them i don't think i found an exception but all the wheels, although this one's probably the, the least bad, all the wheels are probably in need of a refurb, definitely in need of a refurb. And that's probably the worst part, cosmetically, of this car. That one, not so bad. But I can say with utter certainty that the car is looking a lot better already just with that jet wash. So anyway, I've got my bucket and sponge. Let's go over, give it a proper polish up. I'm gonna to need to find some alcohol actually to wipe off the markings from Copart. I need to do that, don't let me forget. And then we'll probably turn to the headlights, give them a sheen polish and see if we can bring them back to life. Oh yeah, we've got to do the inside as well.
Okay, so car is looking fresh as a daisy. It is amazing what a difference a quick wash at home can make. I mean, I say quick actually, in fairness, I've spent way too long on this. I've been going, it's at half five now. I started at one, four and a half hours. However, it is now time to do something I'm quite excited about because I've got some new toys to play with. We're gonna have a look at the headlights. Um, this side, as you can see, I think, is that right? Is far worse than over there. So naturally we'll start over here. I think it'll be more satisfying to watch. Now, I know you can do this properly with like various grit levels of sandpaper. All I'm gonna really do today is literally whack some special Meguiar's polish onto a end of a drill and um, machine polish it as, as hard as I possibly can to try and improve it. So we're not gonna make it perfect, but hopefully we will make it better. I guess what I should do here is I'll stick some tape down the middle so that we can see the, uh, the difference it makes. Okay, here we go. So I've got this special thing, which we should just be able to attach. <laughs> Oh, so I'm going to apply some of this special polish to the pad and I might just do that a little bit and then give it a little go. Okay, I've already broken it. That's not gone to plan. Hmm. Okay, well, I've been absolutely swindled there, despite the fact that, by the way, that seems like a massive improvement. All I've managed to do is completely disintegrate this stupid attachment from Amazon. Look at the state of that. This is brand new. And cake the car in uh, not only the plastic, but yeah, the polish has gone everywhere as well. I've been mugged. Okay, so ignoring the fact I've been absolutely swindled and finessed by Amazon, scammed out of 15 quid for this utter pile of garbage. Uh, if we were to take the tape off, think, yeah, there is a, a definite, uh, significant improvement. There you go, from left, which is untouched, to right. That is magnificent, actually. That's made a real difference. So um, I will try now, off camera, because it will be lots of lots of swearing, which would not be very family friendly. I'll try off camera to do this to the rest of that light and then to this one, which yeah, looks pretty poor. Um, and I'll update you. That really hurt. <laughs> I'm suing Amazon. I'm actually going to take them to court over this. Oh, shocking. Okay, so Danny has come to the rescue. That's my dad, for those of you that don't know. Um, with some, well, he's, he's got his own one, actually. I didn't realise that before I went and bought that pile of absolute um, But I need a different drill, so I think he's going to go and find one. There is this sort of wire, although I think that's probably just going to scratch it, isn't it? So I'm, I'm not going to use that. I'll, I'll wait for the proper pan. Okay, well, we spent so long faffing about with a stupid machine polishing on the headlights that it's now, well, it's gone seven o'clock and it's gonna be getting dark soon. And I want to go home and have a bath. So given that, well, we've still got time to give it a once over inside. So I'll do some hoovering, get some cockpit spray all over the place and try and just clean it up in here. To be honest, it is so filthy that it's not gonna take much to make such a huge difference inside of here. If you're paying attention, you would have realised that I'm not at home. I'm actually at my parents' house today, which is 50 miles from my house. And I did actually drive this here. I didn't have it on the back of a trailer, which means uh, the car is running really well. If you want to see 
a video with my sort of first drive and impressions of this car and you might be surprised to hear what I say uh, do comment below and let me know if you'd like to see that maybe I can upload a video in a week or so where we drive this car So hilariously, I'm using this Toyota cockpit spray from their car care range. This came with my dad's 2001 Y Reg Toyota Avensis. He still has it. And it's witchcraft, this stuff. It smells great. It's obviously full of crazy stuff, but any sort of interior plastic or well, any interior surface, it just gives it such a great sheen. So I'm just going around and using that all over the interior here. I really, really like the interior of this Audi TT. I think it's probably my favorite thing about the car so far. I love the sort of big flat table-like surface you have in front of you. It reminds me of the Audi R8, actually. Um, been lucky enough to experience a few of those now. And yeah, I think it's really cool. Well, there we have it then, all done after an extremely long day of cleaning. However, it's such a huge improvement. I cannot quite believe it. And I keep forgetting that this car cost 475 quid plus the fees and whatnot. But no, look, it's not perfect. In fact, it's far from it. There's lots of paint issues. The wheels are all pretty, pretty terribly beaten up and there's a number of things that could be done cosmetically to make this thing much, much better. However, if you look back to the start of this video or even last video when the car got dropped off, this thing now is a far cry from where it was. And I love this red paintwork, it absolutely gleams. The sun was out earlier and it looked fantastic. So now I'm super excited to take it out on a sunny day and enjoy it. I might even turn around and look at it when I get out. Uh, really happy with how this has gone and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. If you had, do drop a like on the video. Make sure you comment below to tell me if you'd like to see some more content with this Audi TT. And if you are enjoying this or any of the other videos on the channel, a subscribe would be deeply appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Do make sure to check them out, guys, and I'll see you all very, very soon.